Can you use the force? Am I going to have to crumble? I'm going to use the force to put force my foot up your backside. Gaddies, lentilmen, guys, burls, and other variations of the species. Welcome to the Galaxy Fox Chron- Far Far Away. The Fox Chronicles, <laughs> 2018, and still things don't fucking change no. around here. I get no respect around here. Oh, you get plenty of respect. You get about as much respect as a cockroach much respect as Anakin did of Obi-Wan oh yeah perhaps. hey mm-hmm. he, he had respect all over that thing no no he, he didn't he got, he got absolutely none he zero was, he got respected by a lightsaber alright that's, that's enough respect as he deserves whiny little bitch <sighs> how dare you <laughs> how dare you I think I think he's not a whiny little bitch I think you're going to be a whiny little bitch about fucking Last Jedi when we get into that. And then, what eh? makes you think that? But, seeing as how you interrupted my intro, I'll, uh, I'll, uh, fucking, yeah, I see what you've done there. Jedi mind tricks, trying to <laughs> fucking <laughs> try to get inside my head. Okay. <laughs> this is Captain Privilege, and with you through no choice of his own, is Grand Master Grey Jedi. Absus. Fucking tech. <laughs> oh my god. Happy New Year, you fracking toaster. <sighs> huh? <laughs> why, why are you saying Happy New Year at me? Because so, the electronics don't have New Year's apparently. Without any further ado, we're going to get into episode 3 Revenge of the Sifaru for the PS2. Huh? Whilst, uh, whilst we riff a little on how unfair it is that The Last Jedi is getting such a bad rap. Huh? You, you were just waiting for that dramatic pause there right. before I started off my big ranting escapade. Where I, I don't want to know what you call it. your lightsaber, but... <laughs> the ranting escapade? Oh, oh, that sounds like big, an awesome name. <laughs> your big ranting escapade at that. Uh, oh, if I ever have a pirate shit, ship, I'm on on definitely calling shit. my ship the ranting escapade. That the sounds ranting awesome. escapade. Yeah, it sounds great, you know. Right, what, what, so what was your problem with it? A lot of things, actually. Why? Why are you such a hater? Why? Why can't you just be happy? Oh, come on, I hate on everything. You like, seriously. Way. Everyone's such a bitch. Oh my god. It, uh, it, it was, a, it was a, as good as the first one. Like, what? Y'all didn't even like the first one as much. No. Everyone sagged it. Don't even fucking lie. Everyone sagged <laughs> yeah, it. Yeah, I yeah, liked the first yeah. one. I thought Ray was awesome. Right, what the fuck are yeah. we doing here? Well, standing over the jump area, press and hold X and release the first jump. Yeah, buddy. You go, go Sorry. On. You can't just use it whenever you want. You've actually got to, like, ah, fuck this jump shit. in a specific area. Give me this shit. <laughs> no, I don't. You use the force to pick that shit up. Yeah, come on, boy. Yeah, so anyway. Hi. Right. So, I'm trying to look at all the movies, like, every single one of them, as their kind of own little sets. So they each have their own individual styles. Fine, you know, not got a problem with that. Hmm. Don't have a problem with the fact that the new Jedi is female. I have no issues with that at all, even though some people do. Why would you bring it up then? Because some people have <laughs> issues with it for some random fucking reason. They also have issues. Ray is awesome. Ray looks cool. Ray sounds cool. Yeah, but they all... and I'm totally down with just dismissing any bitch and anyone does yeah. better powers than that. As straight up, women have better powers. Okay, Leia practically was more force sensitive than Luke back in those fucking films, okay? She could literally fucking speak to him through space time and saved his well, fucking punk ass. She saved his punk know. ass. She saved his punk ass in that fucking you film. You know. Okay? Can, can, that, that, that you mentioned that. Women have a different... Good, you know, they're more in tune with their, yeah. with their senses. S- since you bring it up... Intuition. Yeah, huh? s- since you bring it up, right? Uh, okay, number one. Now this is a question that I'm trying to trying to ask, because oh yeah, spoiler alert for anybody that really hasn't seen it. Oh yeah, but just put spoilers it's, on the text. It's been out long enough, so go fucking see it. It's, anyway. been, it's been made like a billion. So yeah, exactly. So I've seen it twice. Post spoiler alert comment. <laughs> uh, one. My question is that bit when Leia ends up 
outside the ship. Okay. Now, is she force pulling herself back towards the ship? Or is she force pulling the ship towards her? Well, I'll ask you this mm. question. I'll, I'll ask. I'll answer your question with a question. Oh, oh, perfect trumper there. Okay. What did Luke do when he was trapped by the fucking the the, 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 the Snorlax? What the fuck was the Yeti thing? Yeah, he force pulled. The Yeti his, thing. He force pulled a. Yeah, huh? A rock. Well, wait. Yep. Do you just answer your own question now? I, That's did what he I actually force pull the rock? I thought he just picked no, up the rock. No, he force picked the, the fucking goddamn lightsaber when he was stuck in the ice. Oh, the ice bit, right. But the yeah, Yeti yeah, one All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was thinking that was team. called. Yeah, yeah, totally. He force pulled his lightsaber. Right, so technically speaking, so she, she pretty much pulled, force the pulled herself to the ship via the same thing he done by reaching his hand out. Yeah. Now, so, yeah, so everyone's bitching like, uh, did you take me Perkins? But that's how they done it. <laughs> that's how she would have done it. Yeah, okay, it was a little bit it's cheesy. It's just because the I, fact that it's like... I'll not lie, I kind of slightly maybe would have preferred it if it had literally just written off in a cold, dead, harsh fucking way Yeah. With her getting bombed out of the thingy. But I liked it, man. Yeah, I mean, I, w uh, I would have preferred. Uh, that was one of the weirdest parts. I'll, I'll definitely yeah. grant that. I would have. Uh, I, I would have preferred that if it was a case of right. Okay, she just got blasted out of the ship. Now I understand. Right, she was unconscious. Fine, and I understand that. Well, the force moves in mysterious ways. It can protect you from things that most people would probably die from. Uh, unfortunately, space really vacuum, no heat, frozen. I'm like, mm, the force is powerful, yes, but damn. I don't that, know. That, that character is now turned into a god. If it was D&D, &D, the character she's would be more in like, retired. She's more in tune with the force, that's what I'm saying. Women are more in tune with their senses. Why can't, why, what, what can't you bring, why are you so sexist? Why, why I'm not, it, just, it, bring, it brings up the point of that, it brings up the point of, you know, throughout all the movies... Where were the women Jedi's? Hold on, that's some oh, bullshit. Yeah. It's literally like only letting me fucking what? It's only letting me upgrade your force powers. I, uh, right, okay. Fuck. Yeah. So I mean, so what else was wrong with it? Okay, so that that was the first one. The second one, the whole talking to each other through the force, right? N not saying that can't happen because it's the force. Anything can happen. What I'm, what I'm saying is, though, damn, they brought that in really fucking quick. Like, wait, whoa, whoa, where was the build-up to that? It was just like, bam, we can talk to each other through <laughs> our visions. Whoa, wh whoa, where did that come from? We all know that it's like, you know, you can sense presences or you can feel when someone else is injured or right. trapped and shit. Right, uh -huh. we, we understand that. But the sudden, I'm talking to you, like I'm standing in front of you. It wasn't sudden. It, How did Luke talk to Leah? Uh, game set match, bitch. It was never, right. never actually explained. It's like the force. No, 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 no. I mean, like in every movie, including the last one there, that was never brought up ever. Well, it was never brought up. It was fucking there, man. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It was just. We've like all seen each other, aight, But I mean, we've got force ghosties, so. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was a breach. Well, uh, well, yeah. well, don't you prefer seeing something new? Slightly new? Something interesting? Was... Another side of the Dark Force that you'd never seen before? Because obviously it turns out it was Snoke that was doing that. Ah, it was fine. It, was just, it just seemed really, really sudden. Excuse you know, me. like, even in that movie, there wasn't, like, a hint of it at the beginning. It was just like, BAM! Whoa! You know, it was at that first point, you're like, is this a hologram or something? You know, you're like, oh no, talking through the Force. Well... Okay, yeah, new, interesting, but what? <laughs> the fuck? Like, so, so is that really that's all your complaints? I didn't uh. say I was finished. <laughs> <laughs> I say you're finished, right? I say you're finished. Like, no, fuck this, right? Okay. Was the start bit with Paul and the ship not cool as fuck? Was it? Oh shit, I'm all people. I'm all people, baby. Uh, was it not cool as fuck? Was it not? Which part? It's a bit of a pole, like, totally fucking U turns the ship, just handbrake turns the fucking X Wing and that. Oh, man. Yeah, sorry. Uh, some bits are still a little hazy. 
Yeah, it was awesome. Um, Don't lie, that was awesome. That was kick ass. It's like, okay. That, with, a, with, a, with a fucking Asian chick just like totally killing herself, Rosie's fucking sister just totally fucking like diving down no, and that. Like, I will that admit, so fucked I, up, I will man. admit, I was like, no, I, survive, I did like that survive. for the, I did like that for the sheer fact of was you're dark. adding a bit of reality. Yeah, I was fucking dark. That was that some bit. rogue one shit right there, bro. Ah, that yeah. was some rogue it's one like, shit right there. Let, let's cool. add, let, let's make it so that you know, because nobody in the rebellion ever died, apparently. You know, kind of thing. They just kind of got force thrown, or yeah, you know, they got shot a little. You know, but nobody actually really died properly. You know, there's nothing like saying, "Oh yeah, you're fucking dead." You're just you got shot. You might survive. Yeah. Put you in a back to tank for half an hour. You'll be fine. Um, but yeah, that one was good for that. But a harsh reality of, uh, yeah, she just killed herself to save the republic. At that point, mm, fair enough. Poe handbreaking the X-wing. I have no issues with, apart from, like, I'm just a little bit, <sighs> it's we. I'm kind of mixed because I don't really have any problems with it, but at the same time I'm just like, damn. They're, they're trying damn. to make them kick wow. ass, they're trying to yeah. make them quite cool. Exactly, no, I think, to be honest, throughout everything, that I think that's my only problem with the film, really. Like, just to sum yep. everything see, up in one. See, is... that's not enough, though. That's not enough. Let's remember, then, all the cool bits. Let's fucking defend this motherfucker instead of being the trivial little haters like everyone else, okay? Like, <laughs> let's break this shit down, right? Now, yeah, was it the film that we all expected? Yep. But, what did he say in the trailer? This is not gonna go down like you expect this game. Like, I told you. It wasn't coming. All the interviews everyone's compelled now is fucking Mark Hamill pretty much half crying, borderline, you know, <laughs> saying I, I, I fundamentally disagreed with like everything this fucking version of Luke had and that. And That's like, why he looks so pissed off with yeah. the film, you know. He just looked yeah. kind of fucked in, yeah. at points. However, I really enjoyed seeing Luke. I really enjoyed some of the humour. I will say they got fucking far too much humour in this. Yeah, Everyone was yeah. one lining like a motherfucker and that really pissed me off. Yeah, like the last one, don't joke on I, your own aspirations. I loved, like, but I loved the humour in uh, The Force Awakens. I think it was peppered in perfectly. It really was. Whereas this, at, at, at one point, I was genuinely like, can I get a fucking line of dialogue that is now one liner? Yeah, I want, I want it, it did quick, get please. quite slapstick a couple was, of this as That well. pissed me off. But, yeah. That being said, the the, the whole training with Ray was kick ass. It was cool. Uh, what the fuck am I maybe doing here? Suckle. Push your Suckle that bad Push boy. Push your button. Push your button. Tap it. Oh, there we go. Yeah. It's just PS2, right? <laughs> uh, the blue milk scene was 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 awesome. That was that was a real treat. A oh real treat. yeah, yeah, totally going down and actually fucking like <laughs> what, what the, the fuck? fuck? Seriously, and I'm like diving like, yeah, for okay. the fucking eggs in the morning and shit, like across the fucking <laughs> thing. She's like, whoa, he's just jumping across, and the fact that he'd said he hadn't used the force. Yeah, it was and like, we had mm -hmm. the books and knowledge and the mm -hmm. trails, and, mm -hmm. she, and she took the books at the end. And mm -hmm. Yoda, was that not? I know. See, I actually, percent I actually, best thing fucking yeah, ever. I actually did they love that. They used the puppet. They used the actual puppet. Him laughing just like the old whimsical fucking piss taking Yoda we remember and loved, man. Yeah. Slapping him about and laughing. Oh, I've missed you looking that man. That's fucking hilarious, yeah, man. Yeah, I did. Missed I did like that. that. <laughs> what like, was amazing? Like Yoda saying to them, "You're taking shit a little too seriously, man. Seriously, come on." That's brilliant. This, this is this is actually bollocks. The but force is not his books. cryptic ass as usual. Yeah. What'd they say? She's fucking. And, and uh, she contains all the knowledge in the books. Yeah. And she had the fucking books at the end. Yeah, totally. <laughs> You're like, all right. <laughs> uh, what was and, it that? And, and, and her fight with, Ray, uh, with Kylo was pretty kick ass. I think the Snoke's snuff mm. was, was annoying. My take on this was that it's kind of harsh and fucked up because what really should have went down is J.J. Abrams should have had all three fucking films. But he yeah. pussied the fuck out of the first one like a dumbass motherfucker. Now, it's understandable why he did it. Oh, but yeah. he pussied out, he's saying, oh, I'll do all three. There's a ramp at And now he actually, oh, I'll fucking ramp you there. <laughs> now you cut me off, right? <laughs> I did, yeah, uh, it was great. And now this other guy stepped in and 
Abrams being Abrams has set up set up all these mystery boxes with fucking Ray's parent and who the yeah, fuck is Snoke yeah. and where Snoke's going to be worth it in the long fucking run and what do we get? We get fucking the, Snoke gets wiped the worst death and, and <laughs> she gets get told her fucking through. parents are junky fucking traders or yeah. some shit and you're like what the fuck like are you joking me man uh, that for me was a sign of this guy's trying to make his own fucking mark was trying to you know not be confined to the restraints that that, that, that Abrams had technically left him yeah which is understandable but at the same time it, it felt like it was uh, not paying the fuck off yeah I, that <laughs> That whole Snoke death scene actually pissed me off. Yeah. That was one it of my did. other... It that was, was too one fucking other, obvious. Yeah, it was like, wait, 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 wait a minute. Where the fuck was the epic battle? Okay, I, I understand the two of them battling each other, but this is Snoke. This is like the ultimate fucking Sith power in the galaxy that's stronger than both of them put together. So, wait a minute. You just killed him with a lightsaber in the hip. Like, that. that's like shanking someone with a knitting needle. <laughs> You know, like what? What was that? You it know, just, it felt like. I, I, what what annoyed me more about it was sitting there recognizing Andy Serkis's voice and re- remembering oh shit he's doing Snoke. Yeah. And thinking, holy fuck, Andy Serkis is in the Star Wars universe, and it's not only in the Star Wars universe, but it's an awesome kind of fucking new villainous character, Sith fucking Emperor yeah. Lord that that we're gonna get to learn. It. Oh no, he's gonna. Oh fuck, like, yeah, he's dead. S- you know what? You Snoke's, know, <laughs> it was like for me. Wow. Yeah, bro. For, for me, Snoke was the equivalent of a Star Trek red shirt. You know what I mean? It just like oh. Oh my god, we've got this superpower, and uh, he didn't last two episodes. Of fuck. Mm. <laughs> you know, like, come on, man. At but, least the original yeah, no, Emperor. No, there's nothing right, worse yeah. than how fucking Captain Phasma got Boba Fetted worse than any motherfucker I've ever seen. <laughs> right? She got Boba Fetted worse than Boba Fett got Boba Fetted. <laughs> we at least got to see Boba Fett fuck around and fight a bit. Aye. And do some shit. Whereas with her, <laughs> she barely fought fucking Finn for a lot of fucking two seconds. He whoops her ass some fucking how. <laughs> what I really liked is I heard uh, Mr. Sunday Movies talking about uh, there was another version of that mm. that had been written where basically he kind of manages to slightly get the better of Yeah. Uh, but he's got some kind of weird ongoing, offgoing fucking banter with, with an ex crewman who was supposed to, like uh, another stormtrooper who was supposed to have maybe at one point been rumoured to have been Tom Hardy, I think. Yeah. But uh, basically. He steps in at the last minute to sort of save Finn for Phasma. Nah. Feels guilty. And then uh, Finn stands up and basically goes, Who the fuck think you gave me the gave me the codes to the fucking uh, <laughs> the fucking uh Star Killer base yeah. to destroy it? And yeah. then everyone goes fucking mental because of that. You're like, Ah, <laughs> I actually quite like that a wee bit more. Okay, and they they all turn on her. But it was just like, what, right? I'm fucking left and right in here. Circle. Come on, off. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, yeah, she definitely got Boba Fett like a bitch. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was the fact that it was like, oh, you just fell down that bit. But. Yeah, you're not dead. You're coming back. Yeah, I caught. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep, she's dead. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah. Well, well, we don't <laughs> see her die. That's my one true hope, is that they've really set her up and she's going to be kick-ass as fuck. Yeah. Elsewise, that was a real bad fuck you, and I'm quite surprised like there was a bit more an uproar for you. Well, see, you know, that, the SJWs were praising the fact yeah. there's a, a female in it. But, uh, that, like, that, on, that, that's the thing. You know, it's like... I, I don't have a major problem with the film. It's just like, like you say, there, there's bits. There's bits of it, and it feels like... It feels like an unfinished book that someone has randomly just thrown in parts to complete the last few pages. Um, you know, like for that, the death of Snow yeah. and death of Phasma, I'm just like, okay, those were really fucking easy. What's going on? But Kylo Ren was kick ass. I love this weird, torn, fucked up, conflicted guy that we quote. Really? I, I like him more in this one than I did in the first one. The first one, he was just like whiny little bitch. Kind of thing. Lee Rose you know? is I and kind of funny. Yeah. But I didn't, I wasn't really fond of how, well, her story kind of, her and his story kind of evolved. Because it seemed fun to begin with, but then the whole casino thing was just bullshit. Mm, yeah. And the fact that, you know, it, it's kind of. That was prequels. For me. Yeah. I can't believe everyone is screaming like the, when they went to the casino 
what was the fucking casino all about? Right. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Uh, the casino was just as human as it could possibly be. Uh, 1950s yeah. style. There's no, there's no really alien fucking betting, gambling, you know, 3D no, like, fucking holographic chess things going like, on anywhere. Like someone is trying to say something, but you know, try to like put an actual real world message out, but really badly. Yeah. Kind of thing like, oh my god, here's the heights of society that's controlling the entire universe, selling arms to every uh, every side. Blah, blah blah blah. Like really, we've not heard this like 50 million times before. Well, I, I, I did like that part by uh, fucking Del Toro's bit in it. Mm. Uh, his, who do you think, selling weapons to both sides? I thought it was pretty meta in a sense. That was quite... Yeah, like, well, that that was what kind of got me. It was just a case but of... But like, his uh, character okay. being a dirty shyster at the end was... Fine. Was, yeah. yeah. It yeah, was like, fine. aye, cool. Uh, I didn't like his stutter, though. I don't know why. Yeah, what just, was up with it that? It just didn't feel genuine. Yeah. I don't know that he's a fucking great actor and he pulled it off, but I don't know. I just, it just didn't, it didn't ring true yeah. for some reason. It felt like it was just, and we'll give this guy a star, you know? Aye, yeah, exactly. I mean, because I just maybe that's just because you're not used to fucking hearing enough guys with stars, you know? <laughs> In which case, fucking my bad, you know? But ah, but still, you know, it's like you, you, you look, you see him and you think, oh shit. This is going to be one hell of a performance, and then he's he's putting on this almost comical stutter. Yeah. Is how I felt, you know. It, it felt like a character quirk more than a no a fucking character with a stutter. Yeah. You know? That like like I say, but did he have was... the stutter when he fucking betrayed them? After he betrayed them? Yeah, I know. It, Maybe he didn't like... have it. Maybe it was the, the point was to try and make him. Exactly, because usually stutters are either a sign of, you know, brain damage, which, you yeah. know, in his case could very well be true, or, you know, it's a nervous condition, which gets worse the more nervous you get. Yeah. So, in that case, I can kind of understand, like, but with his attitude and his apathy towards, well, pretty much everything apart from himself, he wouldn't have been stuttering at that point, because he'd be like, I don't give a shit about anybody. I don't care you're mad at me. Who the fuck cares? Yeah. I'm making money. Fuck off. <laughs> you know? Yeah. But, so was Luke's ending not awesome? No. I was did. the fight between him and Kylo Ren not fucking awesome? And when you seen Kylo slice him and think, you better not let this little motherfucker just beat Luke. And then Luke turn Obi -Wan around style. and just fucking... See you later, kid. It was like, what? What? Yeah. Oh, shit. No, man. Yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, because, I mean, you saw him just before that fight look down at the dark pit. Hmm. You know, and you're thinking, ooh, motherfucker, did this, did he just, you know, figure out with that offhanded comment from Yoda that there is no light and dark? Yeah. That there is only the Force. Like, he's been trying to teach people all along. The Force is all that yeah, matters. He's, he's, yeah, he's, he's faced up to his demons one last yeah, fucking time. Yeah, which means he's got like ten times Realize, more powerful. Like, what I'm what I'm afraid of, dying and making this mistake, these yeah. mistakes. It's like, it's, it's not about that. It's about being that fucking, you know, f legend. Yeah. It's about using that ability one my most fucking epic time to save those that fucking care about the most that need it the yeah. most that need that hope that you give them man you know I, 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 and although I, I was I'll not lie I was probably as pissed as when I seen the lightsaber go through Han Solo spoilers yeah, for yeah. The Force Awakens but yeah, 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 come on if you've not seen that yet seriously that's even worse uh, but that uh it, it's st on reflection it felt nice it felt good yeah. him staring out in the sunset and that and, oh no god he's looking at the sunset <laughs> I was like fucking brilliant man you know uh, I was upset because when he said see you, see you soon kid or see you later kid I was like oh yes this yeah. is fucking unfinished come on baby and I was upset because they, they pulled that's two characters they've pulled in the past two fucking films yeah. and we were advertised look in the first one 
didn't get him to the last fucking scene. Yeah, which felt like a total mess shaft. And he ain't there. But we'll still get him as a force ghost. I reckon he'll come back as the most powerful force ghost. Pro well, yeah. Because if he's been able to fucking transmute, he's, you know, literally send his body and he's had all the techs. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know. I, I did have... I did have a lot of issues with the film that kind of left me with that sort of... Uh, the, the Crystal the, Foxes were bullshit. The whole <laughs> casino uh, Finn and Rose subplot bit made no fucking sense to yeah. me and it just felt a bit cheap and annoying, that yeah. whole casino thing. The, You're literally zooming on a guy who's dressed like a 50s yeah, human. I exactly. was like, what is that? Yeah, what's this? What the fuck um, is that? It felt prequally as fuck. Yeah. And I was really surprised they even done that. Exactly. The humour was far too much at points. Mm. But overall, I think the guy managed to pull something off. It was, you know, it was do what was I. What is he more of Poe? What is he more of Ray? Simple as that. Yeah. Like, uh, like, Poe was pretty cool how he pulled his thing off and, you know, they pulled his dynamics. But was really buying Commander Pink Hair Bird not really saying what's going on and shit. Yeah. You know, but that's, you know. Just right and yeah, cool like I, the the I mean, I didn't have a major issue with the whole force talking to each other. Just personally, for me, it did. It just felt a bit sudden. You know, if there mm. was like a little bit more of a build up to that, like even if the first vision she got was kind of like, like a voice, just like, you know, I can see you. Like, what the fuck's this? Don't whisper, man. Yeah. <laughs> Get something, <laughs> just something like that. You know, instead of just, boom, I can see you and everything and where you are and I can practically read the console behind you. It's like, that's like, you know, using that, an old wired handset phone and then suddenly someone gives you all access to like fucking Skype or something, you know. It's like, wait a minute. <laughs> it's a bit of a jump. <laughs> like all of a sudden, it's a bit of a jump. It's been ticked. There's been loads of time has passed. Okay. Yeah, which means they're probably going to write a fucking, you know, an in-between movie. My one, my, 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 my biggest joy is that Abrams is coming back for third. Uh, yeah, so we'll because see. Because I think he'll be able to fucking salvage enough of his original idea with the force awakens or at least the the, the vision that he put together from what whoever was writing that mm. uh, uh and piece it back to something what the fuck come on man if i remember right Last I, of oh. i'm pretty sure i found out what was it the uh hold on no oh first done he's bitch slapped him that's the first yeah. done yeah <laughs> where do we run away where's the fucking run button eh? oh Where's my first run? I think what's really worrying, if we're going to talk about it, is the chat you're hearing about this Han Solo film. You know, mm. lot of bad things. And I don't usually listen to that crap because you know, I heard what they were talking about Wonder Woman behind the scenes. Uh, yeah. uh, it was going to be the worst thing fucking ever. Now, I genuinely didn't like Wonder Woman, thought it was kind of cheesy at fucking points. First half hour film was quite funny and good, but Jesus fucking Christ, what was the rest of that film? Yeah. And you want to get back for behind the fucking shield, you dick? Right, sweet. Uh, I need to uh, cut a or some shit, don't I? Yeah, I'm looking at it going, I don't think it's dead. <laughs> I know. Oh, shit. Oh, there's another what a boy. Send out the doy the cars. That was another thing, right? Just with, oh, just with like. Saber cut. Just with this, this whole thing. Where am I saber cut? Um, I remember, I remember some of the, a lot of the chat that door there. I, I remember a lot of the chat back at this point in time, how people were like, "Oh my god, you made the aliens like so fucking racist." Oh, totally. You know what I mean? Like the whole. Uh, but I think that's racist to say that. Why can't yeah. other fucking aliens talk other languages? I don't... Exactly. You know, it's like, oh, because it was like pigeon English. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, not all races can speak universal basic. You know? Um, so, Gajar's like, quite offensive to somebody. Yeah, exactly. You know, <laughs> it's like, Well, most people, I think. Um, but yeah. So, yeah. Just think how it all would have fucking played out if Jar Jar had actually been... 
as involved as. The, I still want it. We come back. Come back, Jar Jar. You are the darkest of the Sith. What's that? <laughs> that would have been a completely different scenario. Yeah, right? Darth Jar Jar needs to live, you know. Jar Jar is Snoke. Hashtag Jar Jar was Snoke. <laughs> well, he had some major plastic surgery. Like <laughs> That's why his face is like so fucked up. Some fucking <laughs> etiquette and fucking... What do you call it? Annunciation lessons? Grab, grab a lesson. Speaking, talking good lessons. <laughs> talking good lessons. Good speech school. Me not speak well. I think uh, the Han Solo one's a bit more worrying because how do you pull off such an, an iconic character it's from like, scratch? And the fact they've got other known fucking actors in, for yeah. me, the, the one thing that didn't work about Rogue One was Forrest Whitaker and mm. even though he's, a, he's an amazing fucking actor it just I, I don't know why I just was yeah. to buy it I think he's too epic he was too epic and too borderline cheesy for me you know, and the, that was the way it was shot versus yeah, his well, acting the one, the one thing that worries me about the Han Solo one is you remember we'll go, we'll go, we'll go, uh, we'll go fucking uh, what, what's his name it's Woody Harrelson and yeah. fucking uh, what's her puss fucking Stormborn tits. Oh. Daenerys fucking Targaryen boss. Nah, well, it's the fact that you remember when they came out with young Indiana Jones. Yeah. Like, that. it's it's like, okay, at that point in time, Harrison Ford was big, but not, like, on the scale of he is now. Yeah. You know? It was pretty much, what, just after the first, maybe second movie that started in that series? So, the uh, the young actor for young Indiana Jones didn't have massive boots to fill. That's true. But now, <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, Han Solo was I like... I know. They've cast this guy because yeah. he's got a slightly the same grin. But apparently the chat for behind closed doors is... Uh, fucking... Uh, th th there's far too much improv going yeah. on. Yeah. Uh, the director wanted them to improv, and apparently this dude can't really improv. This what really improv. Yeah. And so they've literally like brought in an acting coach. Yeah. yeah. Improv See, coach. Uh, what the fuck is this? <laughs> so he's like insulted and pissed off. Woody Harrelson has been a weird fucking random diva kind of guy. Yeah, so. it doesn't surprise me really. See, the thing is, right? Between like, but this is just yeah. all conjecture and build. It could be utter yeah. bullshit, you know. See, the thing is, I, I like to. Uh, Sorry, I like the Indiana Jones versus young Indiana Jones because they wrote in how he got the scar. You know, and, and the very, you know, the very first one where you see him as his young self on the train and he uses a whip and he ends up getting a scar on his chin. Mm. You know, from that. And it's like, okay, that was a nice little bit of writing there to try and explain you know, why Harrison Ford has got a scar It was, like, pointless. It was not really... Didn't need to know, but it was kind of nice. Just like, oh, okay, fair enough. But what are they going to do with a lot of the shit in, in uh, the Han Solo one? The, you know, it's like... Because I still think Han Solo was a fucking Force user. Wow. I think, uh, and run the risk of being good if it fucking Rogue Ones itself and just make it a standalone fucking film. Make it a cool standalone tale. Don't fuck around yeah. and... Well, because the thing is, they, they made the implication that Han Solo actually had the books of the Jedi on the Millennium Falcon. Did they? Apparently. When? Well, apparently in the new one, there was the... Uh, ah, no, the well, I know. Well, right? no, well, it was in Solo. He's dead. Aye, he's dead. Aye, but, but Ray took him onto the Falcon, aye. Aye, but there was also the insinuation that he had them previously. Nah, 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 the, nah, the fucking, nah, the idea is she she stole the fuckers. Aye, but there was the insinuation that he had them previously during one of his transport missions. Oh, to right. save the books of the Jedi. Right. Oh. So there was the insinuation that the, maybe he might have read them. Do that. And it's like, maybe Han Solo would have read them. I think it's maybe a little too dry for Han Solo. 
You know, I, I don't know, personally it feels a little bit too dry for him to be reading the books of the Jedi. Kind of like, you know, instructional manual. But, I'm like, I still think he was like... Maybe, he, maybe post fucking, yeah, well, the, the way he speaks to Rena. Yeah. It's all but, real. But the, f the fact is, it's like, you know, they've explained it all the way through, like, all the movies, in the back lore and everything like that, is every single time you hear it, you know, especially when Han Solo was talking to Obi Wan. In my line of work, there is no such thing as luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah th you're right. It's because it's all you know, feeling the force. So, really, if you think about that, like the way he shot that fucking dude on the Force Awakens, man, yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. Stormtrooper just runs up by him and didn't even look. And just shoots him. Exactly. Like, yep. Shit like that. Done. It's like Han Solo. Was a force user, and I'm so surprised that they didn't. You're just like a drug user when you say that. <laughs> <laughs> He's a force user, dirty, filthy, rebel Whoa, scum. What the fuck is this shit? <laughs> what the fuck. So you know, yeah, he might not have been like fucking Jedi. He might not be able to pull things towards him or jump really high, run really fast, or use a li well, kind of use a lightsaber, probably. But um, you know, I definitely think he was, shall we call it, force sensitive. So, like, because, I mean, look at look at it when he uh, shot Greedo in the first one. Back to the you can't tell me Greedo is that bad of a shot. Uh, you know, come on, he missed him by, like, fucking five you inches. You'd think you'd have a fucking mark on him anyway, but... Yeah, he missed him by, like, yeah, five you're inches. Yeah, totally move, so totally Exactly, because so you saw that, and then, Hans, and then Solo already had the gun under the table. You're like, yeah, he fucking knew, man. He's a force user. He just didn't yeah. want to admit it. He didn't really <laughs> going to go into that in the new film, though. No, I, I don't. And they're just going to show his, you know. Yeah, I think they're going to leave it at that. They're just going to leave it as conjecture. Gangster youth. Yeah. So. It's going to be a lock, stock, fucking experience. So yeah, to round my feelings up about the film, to be honest, personally, I give it a negative. Even though there was there was some po there was some positive in there that I'm like yeah I like, like that. Do I like you that. think nine will like be that. shit? Is that what you're saying? Mm. Do you think nine will be shit and it won't round up? I'm well. not I'm not going to do the whole. And I'm watching the next one because that one I yeah, didn't exactly. like. You're going to watch. I'm going to so, watch it anyway so because films change. Think it'll be shit though then. I'm hoping not. The, the thing is, I mean, practically all the original cast is dead. Jesus. Apart from Leo. Apart from Mark Hamill and fuck. All oh, right. Well, oh yeah, yeah. See what I mean? So characters, right? Sorry. Yeah, yeah. The, the characters, <laughs> not in real life, but the characters. So yeah, they might bring them back as little cameos for like, oh, they're dead. And they're now a, a force spirit, or you know, there's a little statue of them, like Harold, like fucking Ramus and Ghostbusters. There's a little bust of them in the background that you barely see for like half a second. Um. I'm, I'm hoping it isn't, but because... What the fuck's going on here? <laughs> you're just stuck in a loop, mate. I think so, eh? But, um, yeah. Because it's basically now pretty much an all-new cast, so they can go really wherever they want. They're not really constricted with any previous stories. Uh, well, I think... That's what worries me. Apparently, this dude hmm. is the one that's got the fucking uh, next trilogy to his cell. Mm. A completely brand new trilogy that's nothing to do with this. You can go and write it whenever and wherever. And I'm like, this guy? That could be a bit dangerous. This is the guy! And they okayed that before Last Jedi came out, which yeah. is even more annoying. Cause that, you're just like, really? Yeah, that could get a little bit dangerous because it's like. You know, taking Stephen King novels and going, It was always going to happen, you know. but you need some a bit more, uh, someone a bit more fucking, I don't know, te t tempered. I genuinely think, on reflection and comparison, people will look at The Force Awakens with a lot more fucking reverence now. Well, I, and I do. I know I do. I really look forward to w look at, watching back on that after watching The Last Jedi. Mm. You know, I, I do look forward to watching Last Jedi again so I can get a bit more perspective on it. There was certainly, but, like you said, there was certainly a lot less 
you know, cheesy ass jokes. The only one, the only one Joker in that whole film mm. that uh, pissed me off was Vader's "Don't choke on your aspirations." That's Rogue you know One. You I mean? keep getting confused. Was it Rogue One? Oh fuck! Yeah, was. yeah sorry, um, Rogue One. You know that. So that one pissed me off. Um, fucking. But that the, the humor, mortal for me. Like the, 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 there was like humanism stuff going on as well. I don't yeah. know, give them no quarter and the, the dusting off the shoulder and shit. Yeah, <laughs> what the? Like, f- it was cool, but it was like, like, look, <laughs> you know, you don't want to say cheesy. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, yeah, I think uh, Anakin's cooler than Snoke. Certainly lasted longer. <laughs> You know I think, what I mean? He got all his limbs chopped off and still survived. Gonna get something cool in the end. Yeah. Come on, man. We're gonna get the Knights of fucking Ren come back. What did he say? He ran away after he killed a bunch of the fucking my, my, my students, but ran away with someone on. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. And exactly. that whole thing where like he thought Luke was totally gonna kill him and look dead evil in his perspective. That was fucking cool. I like that. That was dark. That I was like, like that. Oh. and then Luke explaining it like for a fleeting second. I totally did had a shite bag that, but then I thought, no, oh, I shouldn't do that, man. I couldn't do yeah, that. Yeah, he but, felt the dark <gasps> side. He's woke he felt up and fear. seen me stunned with a lightsaber yeah. around his neck, like, yep. Yeah, because I, I, I really did like that bit, because that was like, you're a Jedi master. It was real. And fear, fear leads to the dark side. It was real you know? and human. It's like, wow, okay. But I think nine, nine will be kick ass. Kylo's conflicted going around for crazy. You gotta come back with a Knights of Ren. You gotta get Force Ghost. You gotta get, you know, fucking Ray going crazy. You gotta get the Rebellion finally coming back. Hopefully for one last hurrah. Yeah. But my one problem with it is that could be it for like Ray. Potentially. But, yeah, yeah, because Paul, like yeah, they because, side stuff for them, like I just spin off stuff for them. She said apparently this is that she done. She she's under no contract after this. You're like what? Yeah, I don't know if she says she's under no contract, but she's saying the character Ray. She won't Hasn't be playing been after this. Eh? Continued, yeah. I'm so like, yeah, yeah, you're right. It'd be the end, could be the end of the Ray because I was kind of hoping, right? The whole idea of bringing balance to the force, right? And everybody's like, well. That technically means good and evil have to work together for balance. Yeah. You need good and evil. And I'm I'm thinking there is no republic, there is no empire. There is two people, a light side and a dark side, governing the galaxy together. You know, and they're both like arguing like fuck it sounds like an episode of fucking, you know, Coronation Street or something really, you know. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I mean, I can understand why they've stayed away from that shit because it could get really, really fucking cheesy that way. But at the same time, it's like, well, in that case, you're to bring balance to the force. You're just gonna have to fucking destroy each other. Hmm. Or you're in a constant pitted battle for like the rest of eternity, or at least the rest or of the. Or try and finally have the final prophecy one. They have a baby. <laughs> that is <laughs> a great Jedi. Finally, bring the balance to the Force because she's the light and he's the dark. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. Because Anakin had, well, impregnated her before he was in the dark side. Mm, technically, yeah, but he always kind of was sort of slighty towards the dark side with his ambitions. How dare you judge his sexuality? <laughs> So, he, no he swung both ways, all right. That's sexy you know? picture. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, before I go start questioning my sexuality due to Tech's ongoing uh, Jedi mind tricks, I think we'll call <laughs> <laughs> and powers of you suggestion. Uh, I think we'll call it there. But this is to be continued. I'll have you fucking know. Yeah, I really I think enjoyed it's fucking be, Battlefront yeah. as well too. Yeah, Battlefront too. All the bitching, what the fuck? Okay, what was it? It was COD wrapped in fucking... It's a COD-esque game wrapped in motherfucking... Uh, Star Wars skins. 
It was just a well, micro What were you expecting? So. It's fine. Yeah, the, but the rest of it, there's fucking tons in the game. I'm playing the shit out of that game. Yeah, I, I wasn't All too... the multiplayer arcade mode and, and um, single player arcade mode and stuff. Yeah. Fucking great. Never mind I, the multiplayer. I didn't get into the bitching on the actual gameplay. It was just the the microtransaction shit that I'm like, yeah, I don't agree yeah, with that. Yeah, they, oh, they fucked up big time there, but to yeah. be honest, I'm never really all about that fucking multiplayer anyway. Yeah. So as, long as, as long as microtransaction yeah. does Still not... Still quite unbalanced yeah. for some things, but it's fun, man. It's fun to fucking play. As long got as... Got to run out of Ray, got to run out of Yoda and shit. Yeah. It just I didn't as... have to earn that shit, really, as long as you got an arcade mode. Exactly. As far as I'm concerned, as long as microtransactions doesn't impede on your progress, because then it turns into a mobile app game. Mm. Definitely. You know? At that point, you're like, nah. But if it's microtransactions, yeah, it might give you a little boost. And on that note, if you want yeah, to hear anyway. any more of this, you need to pay a full subscription to the Falk Chronicles podcast via our Patreon <laughs> only. Uh, all fucking <laughs> content from here on in is exclusive DLC. So uh, pay up, motherfrackers. No? Didn't work? Oh, that only works if you've got millions of fans, right? I get it. I love so. those shameless plugs there. That was like, <laughs> oh my god, you managed to hit all the buttons with that one sentence. That was great. Speaking of all the buttons, go ahead and smash that like button. Don't smash that. That's disgusting. Force push that like button. Huh? Like that? That sounded a bit rapey. <laughs> Did I? I was just Ooh. thinking that. Uh, you know, the fucking. <laughs> well, we'll figure something out. You know, lightsaber that like button. Yeah, it still sounded a bit rapey. Oh, I never thought you like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of stuff in Star Wars that you just yeah. can't say about that. Force like ghost. That that also sounds. Oh, that sounds <laughs> succubus. Eh? Incubus, <laughs> maybe. Oh, God, oh, I was thinking right. like Invisible Man. Just, no, no, it's on. just getting worse. It's getting worse. <laughs> yeah. So yeah, hit up, hit up that like button. Hit up the subscribe button if you haven't already. If you managed to last this fucking long, good God, power to you. And yeah, may, the, may the force party, yeah. be with you and uh, join us same dank time same dank channel where we try to bring force to the balance of YouTube I've been Captain Privilege uh, with Grandmaster Tech setting off closing hill of frequencies I'm going to play with my lightsaber ba -ba -da, ba -ba -da, don't do that don't do that put the actual soundtrack on instead no, no. <laughs> <laughs>